what in the world were you thinking? Have you ever had someone say that to you? Or maybe if you were disciplining your children, or maybe even said it to your spouse, or had your spouse say it to you, what in the world were you thinking? You see, 90% of what we hear every day is negative. Think about it. When you talk to your friends, you talk to your work, fellow workers, you talk to your enemies, all you hear is negative. In fact, a few years ago, there was a TV show that was on on Sunday mornings. It was called What's Good in America? And the show was on for about three months, as I recall, because they had trouble getting advertisers to uh, sponsor the show because there wasn't enough action. There wasn't enough what's really bad about what's going on in the world. That's, that's pretty pathetic, isn't it, when you just want one 30-minute uh, show per week and you can't get advertisers or, or listeners or viewers to tune in. So, so it's a fact. You know, just about everything we do is negative. Everything we hear is negative. You see, you can't control life around you very much, but you can control what you do with what you hear. I have a saying on my website. The problem is not getting new information into a person's mind. It's getting the old information out. And in other words, we hear so much negative information in our world, it's getting that information out and trying to put something in that's positive and something that will help us in, in our everyday life. So, you know, it's really kind of up to you. I, I, I say this, that you need to plant happy, healthy, prosperous ideas in your mind and in, in the minds of those around you. You know, I have a saying when somebody says, Dick, how are you doing? And I say, I'm wonderful, but I'm getting better. And I say that probably 20 times a day, and I get some of the strangest stares because they say, oh, you've been sick, that you're getting better? No, I'm just wonderful. I've been wonderful, and I'm getting better. You see, you can, you, you, you can change what you are, and you can change where you're going to go and what you're going to accomplish in this life just by changing the way you handle what happens to the things that go into your mind. You can stand around, you can sit around and let all these things fester in your mind of all the negative things that are going on. And then you'll join the rest of the society. Or you can say, okay, I heard that, but I don't choose to live that. I choose to live a positive life. So you can change, you can change if you want to. You know, the, the psychiatrist John Reitman says, it takes the average person twice as long to understand a sentence using a negative approach than it does to understand a positive sentence. So you see, it's really up to us how we want to handle the things that come at us in life. And, you know, there's no question about it with the... Uh, current economy, current political scene that we see every day, there are just so much, so many negative things thrown at us. Now we can get engrossed in those and we can live by those, or we can say, okay, that's the information, but I don't choose to live that way. Uh, I was told many years ago that if I, that I was usually swimming the opposite direction of most people, and I don't apologize for that. So let me ask you, let me ask you again, what in the world are you thinking?